The LEGO space has gotten pretty flooded over the last few years, and I haven't really seen anyone do a proper tier list. So I thought it'd be fun to rank the top LEGO YouTubers. I'm sure I've missed some of my list, but these are the main ones that I keep up with. Also, this is just my personal opinion, so don't take it too closely to heart. All right, so without further ado, let's dig in. I'm going to start with m &R Productions, who's probably the biggest uh, LEGO YouTuber, in my opinion. Especially for LEGO Star Wars. He does a lot of like news-related content and tons of reviews. He's actually the reason I started making videos. I've been watching him since like 2015. And personally, I think everyone copies his content in some way or another, especially his his leaks because they're they're always accurate. And I really like how he just doesn't hold back his opinions on Lego. Um, I then I'll go ahead and put him in our S tier just personally. That's where I'd put him. I think he's probably the best Lego YouTuber. He makes the best content and he kind of sets the uh, the trends in some way or another. Next one to take a look at is Brickwiz. Brickwiz makes a lot of mocks. He's kind of a smaller creator. He's been around for. Um, a while he's got a nice setup nice equipment makes some high quality content to be honest though I don't really watch his content too often. I mainly see his mocks when they um, come through in my feed So I'd throw him at like C tier as far as Lego content that I I consume but mock building he is uh, top top tier um, Okay, what about TD bricks TD bricks TD bricks is kind of in his own space. He's like Trying to like get on that trend of making viral YouTube videos, his editing style and everything it really follows kind of the typical YouTube format and content you've seen. He does a lot of viral videos. He's really figured out the thumbnail and uh, the thumbnail meta in particular. Everything looks the same. His videos get millions of views. He's probably the most successful Lego YouTuber, but I don't know if I'd classify him as like an OG Lego fan. I really think he's using Lego to build his brand and he'll end up being some sort of like lifestyle creator. So personally, uh, for Lego content, I'm going to put him in D tier. He's definitely got YouTube figured out, though. Brixie's kind of like in his own space. He's got the coolest Lego city for sure. Uh, he does a lot of cool reviews. I would say he kind of caters to his community more, which is good. Um, I wish I had a community that big. But I don't really watch a ton of Brixie content. I like his Lego City, but other than that, I don't know too much about him. I would probably put him in C tier next to Brickwiz. Uh, Brick Foundation. Uh, I don't know if you've seen Brick Foundation. He is a pretty cool like Lego news channel. He's got like a crazy studio set up somewhere in his house uh, with some nuts lighting, nuts cameras, and just really cool background. Um, I like to watch his videos. They're well edited. Well, the audio is good and it's just like it's pretty high quality for news though And like things keeping up with Lego, I would probably put him in B tier He definitely deserves more subs than he's got in a bigger community, but he does not do um, Lego videos full-time. Okay, let's take a look at some shorts creators uh, The main one that comes to mind is Jay Bree Bricks, but it's kind of funny when I started making shorts like a year ago there weren't really any other shorts creators at the time, or at least that I saw, but JB Bricks has kind of blown up since then. He basically, just shows you how to make custom Lego minifigures, which is cool. Uh, he's got his format down. He makes like the same type of content every, every week, and he's seen a lot of success. As far as shorts creators go, I would put him in probably A tier. Uh, I think he's starting to branch out into longer form content. Uh, the other shorts creator that comes to mind is SC Dude 99 He makes like shorts... Um, short comedy skits on various Lego related topics. Um, I don't like his content as much as JB Bricks. I'll throw him in. I'll throw him in B tier. Um, Solid Brick Studios. Solid Brick Studios has been around forever. He is probably the goat of uh, Lego. He's a pillar of the Lego community. I would say he makes the highest quality content um, Lego wise on YouTube. Anytime he makes a review, I love to to watch it and hear his perspective he's also just crazy at building mocks and he's got a pretty nuts lego collection so i'm definitely gonna throw him at s tier with with m r production um just too good just too good's interesting he's been around a while uh, he kind of just makes like his own content it's not really like catered in any way to anyone it's just kind of what he feels like doing which i can respect personally I don't really enjoy it that much, so I'm going to throw him in D tier. All right, what about like female creators? We've got really, there's two main ones, Holly on film and then Emisaurus or Emisaurus, however you pronounce it. Emisaurus, I think is the, the way to say it. Both of them kind of do their own thing. They have their own little communities and they have both blew up during, during COVID time. To be honest, I don't really watch either of them too much. It seems like Emma Saris has become the poster child for Lego, which I don't really understand. 
But she makes a lot of like vlogging content, goes to Lego stores and just like talks about various things and does a lot of reviews. She seems to have fallen under the Lego's good side, which is pretty cool. Um, I don't really know how she managed to do that, but it's interesting that Lego chooses to like partner with her over someone like MNR, who has a lot more reach in my opinion. Uh, I'd throw her in probably D tier, I guess. Holly on film. Kind of like the, the same thing. I'm just going to put her in D tier next to Emisaurus. Um, okay, what about Haraku? This is probably my favorite LEGO creator, especially in the mock space. I don't know if I pronounce his name right, actually, but hopefully. He makes the coolest mocks I've ever seen, and his videos are just so satisfying to watch. If you've never seen them, it's basically like a 10-minute ASMR build of custom design that he's created. I have no idea why LEGO hasn't hired him as the designer. His builds are insane, in my opinion. I'm going to throw him at uh, S tier. I think he's the most original uh, Lego creator out there, and I love his content anytime he releases a new video. Uh, Tommy C. Bricks is another one that's underrated. He just does his own thing and makes, like, really original Lego content. Uh, he'll do, like, mock building as well. Not a lot of people know about him, but he's just a super original creator. I'll put him at, like, A tier. Generic Studs. Generic Studs is interesting because he makes a lot of more viral content, kind of following the td bricks of the the world he's definitely like gotten the pattern down of like successful videos and his editing style the amount of time he spends on his videos i don't even want to know with the amount of cuts he does it's like a cut every two seconds he's definitely going to be doing youtube for a living i would say because he's pretty young right now and he's already had a lot of success off of youtube I personally am not the biggest fan of his content, but it definitely has a sense of virality to it. It's catered towards a younger audience. I would throw him in the D tier. Funny, I haven't had anyone in the E or F tier yet, which I don't know if anyone's going to go in there. Um, Sacred Bricks, another viral content creator. I would put him in the D tier. He kind of copies uh, what TD Bricks does. Tiago. Tiago is an interesting one. He does some really cool reviews, and since he was a former LEGO set designer, it's really cool to hear his perspectives. Also, like, his quality's super high, so I would go ahead and throw him at S tier next to MNR, Solid Bricks, and Haraku. These are definitely my four favorite, and I don't know if there's really anyone else who comes close to these four. Rich Boy J. Um, he's ar arguably, like, the goat of mock building. I don't know if y'all seen his giant Death Star mock he did a few years back, but it is absolutely insane. Uh, I don't really keep up with his content. I think don't think he uploads too frequently. Uh, I would just throw him in like B tier, I think. Ashen Flash. I don't really know anything about Ashen Flash. He's another baseless creator like myself, which is kind of funny. Yeah, I think he just kind of makes typical Lego content. I don't know. Maybe I'll just throw him in E tier. Brickatech. Brickatech does his own thing. Most of his content is catered around his son, so he's definitely going to have a lot of fond memories to look on when he gets older. But I would say, as far as content-wise, I don't really enjoy it too much. I did see a video a while back where he went to a garage sale and bought Lego, which is cool. I always like to see, like, really good Lego deals. So just throw him in E tier, I think. Uh, Republic Studs. Republic Studs is probably the youngest Lego creator. So it's definitely interesting. I would say he kind of just copies what everyone else is doing. So I'll throw him in, like, the middle of the, the pact. Just kind of like a typical Lego creator. Owenator Productions. This guy is probably the most underrated Lego YouTuber out there. Uh, if you've never seen Owenator, he basically makes stop motion films using Lego. And he spends like literally, you know, six months to a year on one of these. It's like a 20 minute film typically with ridiculous sound effects. Like everything is just edited flawlessly. And it's like to the quality of the Lego movie. I'm going to go ahead and throw him at A tier. All right, let's take a look at the last one, Brick Science. Brick Science is pretty cool. He does a lot of like really cool sciencey like builds. Uh, I'd say he's one of the smartest Lego creators. I would just throw him in like probably B tier. I think he's probably having some of the most success up there with like TD Bricks, Generic Studs, and Sacred Bricks as far as like viral content. All right, what about myself? Where do I rank myself? Um, kind of interesting. Let's think. I don't think I make the best Lego content. Uh, I want to start making more longer form content, but since I work full time, it's just kind of tough because at the end of the day, I come up with one Lego idea and execute on it and longer form content just takes more time, obviously. But as far as shorts, I think I'd throw myself up there with SC Dude 99 and JB Bricks. 
So maybe like B tier. But yeah, that is uh, definitely open for discussion. Yeah, so that's my my tier list. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, hopefully I didn't annoy anyone, but that's uh, that was fun.